There's only there's only one on the list, sir. I, I'm I'm and it's 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 what's been given to me, and what what I'm doing is calling around to all of the parents of the kids that are on this list, and letting you guys know that I'm going to be keeping a close eye on them, as well as uh, letting you know that I'm going to be reinstating corporal punishment here in the school. So so corporal punishment. Uh, what, what what's that? That's actually where if your son gets sent to the office, which is my office, then there will be paddling going on. And opposed to, I, I don't believe in, oh, I don't oh, believe oh, in oh, detention. Oh, 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 oh. I don't believe in suspension. I believe in, you know, if we spank these kids, we can get them back in order. So, so you, you going to spank him, sir? Here's my thing. I really truly believe that if we get back to, 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 you know, and I don't mean what I'm about to say to be harsh, but if we get back to beating, <laughs> we'll get these kids back in order. I mean, but I'm, I know he had trouble in English, but I don't think that calls for a. <laughs> Beaten for a, a no, low no, grade? No, no, no. This has nothing to do with grades, sir. This has to do with punishment. And what I'm understanding is if your son is on my list, and if your son comes down to my office, I'm going to take care of it right then I and there. you what. If my son comes to your office, you're going to be on my damn list. Well, it's, it's, sir, I'm trying to get these kids back in order. And that's the reason why I've been brought in and I've replaced the last principal. You understand? So what I need from you is to get a, to get a great understanding that if your child comes to my office... Corporal punishment will be what he's going to deal with. Well, I okay, you, I tell you what. Let my son come home and tell me he got some damn corporal punishment. And the next morning, me and you gonna do some corporal punishment. Sir, do you want your child in order, or do you want to be bailing his butt out of jail at the age of eighteen? They gonna be bailing me out of jail if you put your damn hands on my son. Okay, are you taking care of your son punishment wise at home? You need to. My son don't get in no damn trouble. My son uh, okay, got that, 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 here, here's. Here, Here's the problem. Parents not believing that their children get in any trouble. That's the first problem. Well, then, I got email. I got phone call. So the first phone call I get is going straight to <laughs> whipping. It ain't no letter sent home. Ain't no email sent home saying there is a problem. I don't, I don't, I don't, sir. I, I, I'll, you know, I'm going to calm down here. I, I'm going to tell you once again, I am not going to, to, to have, send your son to detention. I'm not going to call you. I'm going to take care of my job. My job is to make sure. I'm going to take care of mine. When you take care of yours, I'm going to take care of mine. And that's protect my son. And you put your hands on him and we got a problem. Oh, we're going to have a problem because nine to- I'm telling you right now, I'm calling you and giving you the warning. Your son will be dealt with. And you're going to be dealt with. will be dealt with on a regular basis if need and be. You're going to get dealt with on a regular basis. You're going to get tired of seeing me. Okay, sir, do I need to actually have corporal punishment with you? I tell you what, when you do, when you bring that corporal punishment to me, you better have the police there, because they're going to need corporal punishment. They're going to need whatever else. They're going to need the SWAT team when I get down and you put your hands on my son. I know that. I, I, all I'm, you know what, sir? Maybe maybe, maybe the, 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 the swooping needs to start with you. It, it has Wait, to. I, matter, matter of fact, what time do you go to lunch? We can do this in front of the cafeteria and let all the kids see the damn principal get his damn corporal punishment. Hey, sir, sir, I'm not, I'm not, I, I don't, I don't fear you, first of all. I don't want you to fear me, because I want you to stand there and take your whip it like a man. I don't want to chase you around like no little around the school. Sir, 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 the bottom line is, corporal punishment is being instated. Your son is going to abide by it. You're going to have to accept it, or maybe, I maybe you, you what, need to. I'll tell you what, you said you got 35 names on your list. It better be 34, because cotton name better not be on no corporal punishment list. I know sir, that. Sir, sir, listen, he's not on a corporal punishment list. He's on a list of kid of kids that act up from time to time. My, my damn son don't act up. My son is a model student. He got a little trouble with English, you know, because his mom a little slow. But I, that's my I, I, I did that. You know what I'm saying? You know what? Sometimes I feel like I'm talking to the child right now. You talking to a grown man? And if you put your hands on my son, you are gonna see that I'm a grown man when I come down there. Okay. I'm the only so, one put my hands on my damn son. Then, then, then I guess it's gonna be a lot of kicking circle. It's gonna be some kicking and you line them up system principal principal i kick the cafeteria lady so i come down there if she got something to say you're gonna watch your tone you understand me and you're gonna you're gonna take what i'm hey, telling you, you. Yell- i'm a grown man who are you I, yelling at? i don't care what you're saying everybody's gonna abide i put chains on the door i make sure oh, no. joe clock putting chains on the door i, I thought your name was lansom you joe clock I, i'm mr lanson and these kids are gonna abide by what i want and so are the parents and damn it, you, Mr. Cotton, you're going to have to toughen up and let me do my I damn job. You, I tell you what, then you go on and do what you got to do today. But when I get down there, you better have the police when I get there. I tell you who else I'm going to have here. If you tell me who the 
You gonna have down there then? I'm gonna have nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, cause that's who I am. Your coworker Sylvia got me to prank phone call you. What? What? <laughs> Every time I'm gonna tell you, what, I'm gonna prank <laughs> call you. Next time I catch you, <laughs> Sylvia, that's why I have you ain't get laid on there down at the job. Hey, listen, I got one more thing to ask you, Mr. Cotton. What's that, man? What's the baddest radio show in the land? Man, that <laughs> Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hello, I'm trying to reach uh, Brother DeAndre, uh, Brother DeAndre Phillips. Yeah, this is him. Who is it? Uh, this is Deacon Foley Simmons. I'm calling you from the uh, from Mount Calvary. Oh, uh, okay. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, you, 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 you're a member here, but we haven't seen you in quite a few months. You doing all right? Oh uh, yeah, man. I um, <laughs> I appreciate you ch- checking on me and everything. I've been pretty good. Just you know, kind of going through it and. Just uh, you know, me and my old lady. Uh, I know it's been a well, little you, you while. Well, you know, you know, you know, you know, when you're going through it, the, the, you know, the church home is the best place for you to be when you're going through. You know that now. Yeah, yeah, man, you're right about that. But I've been, I've been kind of checking out her church a little bit too. So I just kind of, if I ain't doing that, I go over there. Cause I, I think it's probably been right around looking at the uh, uh, at our books here. Looking at the last time you came, it looked like um, seven months ago. Uh, yeah. Wh- which deacon is this again? Uh, no, I'm, I'm I'm Deacon Foley. You don't know you don't know me when you see me. You know what I'm saying? You because I I know I know I've seen you at the church. You know I I remember you quite well. But I and but just like I said, that's why I was calling. You know, checking on you because like I said, it's been like you know I'm looking at the uh the uh you know the only way I can could could check you out was last time you came uh was about seven months ago. I looked at the offering statements. Wow. Okay. Well, that, that's uh, that's real accurate. When you was coming to the church, it looked to me like you was you was averaging around a hundred, about a hundred dollars every week. You would putting that in. That, am I about am I about right with that? Uh, you know, if I if I make a little extra or something, you know, I'm always get a lord lord that. But uh, you know, we'll we'll be back. Like I said, in a couple of weeks. Right. 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 No, no, I'm not. I'm not worried about that. But see, not, 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 not this, I want you to do this math with me though. Uh huh. Now you've been gone about seven months. That's about twenty-eight weeks. And you take twenty-eight weeks. Let's just say we put a, 